yo, what's up, y'all? We about to do this new game. It's called Love Bites. You know, the object of the game is you're at a party, I presume, and you go it around. Assumes, yes. I, I've watched people play it. You know, uh -huh. um, you go around to the party. You see all these couples, and you're supposed to break them up. Let's see. I don't know who looks like the first victim out here. Emmett is in a happy relationship with Jesse. Oh, okay. You know, love wins. Howdy, Emmett. How you doing? Um, how's life been treating you? How has life been treating him? I'm so talking, I'm trying to relate, bro. I know. <laughs> I'm joining you with the relations. Howdy, Festival Girl. Life's been steady as a rock. Thank you. Kindly for asking. Jesse and I have been keeping things afloat here at the ranch. Hmm. Oh, I'm a so I'll be darned. Jesse sure does have a knock for popping up since where the action is. What was he up to at the party just causing a ruckus? Oh, he was sleeping over keeping watch over the festivities. He was sleeping around. Oh, I saw him with some other cowboy. It was matter of fact, it was a black cowboy. Yeah, they were pretty friendly though. Why you got to switch for He's a black cowboy. That's what I want to know. <laughs> a black cowboy, <laughs> you say? Reckon that must have been cow with a Jesse's own power. Sound like they were getting along. Fine. How they seem to you, Festival? <laughs> they seem very close. Yeah. Well, I've been really seems like Jesse's been wandering off the trail more than I thought. Maybe it's time for me to focus on tending to my own pastures. Thanks for the talk, Festival Guard. I reckon it's about time that I break a letter. <laughs> <laughs> to Jesse, I heard she was busy riding more than horses with that black cowboy. I guess it's time for me to hit the dusty trail solo. <laughs> See, I knew it. Wow. I knew it. That black cowboy wow. shit. Wow. He was not having that. <laughs> wow. Alright, so where's where's Jesse, man? Hey, you know, what in tarnation? Emmett broke up <laughs> with me for riding with some other cowboy. I'll fix it. I head over there right now. I give him a piece of my mind. What do you reckon I should tell him? Tell him it is what it is. That, you know, that ranch wasn't enough. You like the city life better, bro. You're right, partner. Yeah. It is what it is. That ranch just couldn't hold me down. I reckon I gotta embrace the city slicker life. Thanks for the words of wisdom, amigo. Jesse and Edmund broke up, hmm. man. Well, not that bad, man. And how have you been, dear festival goer, causing trouble and scandal, I hope? Maybe. Who told you about me? <laughs> Elizabeth, you say. I must say, I'm curious, quite curious to learn of what tales Mr. Darcy has been spinning about me. Pray do tell me more, dear festival goer. So she's, it seems like she's rich and from like that high school. Yeah, right, but she's saying, see, you just said Elizabeth, so you gotta fuck it up by saying, switching the last name. So her last name is Bennett, so say a different last name. You know, yeah. yeah, yeah, you know that, that might work. Yeah, he, he was talking about this woman, Elizabeth Downing, I believe her name was, you know. Oh dear, it appears Mr. Darcy's memory is as flawed as his manners. It seems our relationship may be in a need of a little polishing. Excuse me, I must have a word with him. Oh, we failed to get the breakup letter. What do you want, Festival Goer? Stop bothering me and go bother someone else. I'll go bother Hey, man, chill, bro. I, I just just seen how you were doing. Why the hostility? I, want to say, I, don't, I, don't, know. Know. I don't need your fake kindness, Festival Goer. Just leave me be. All right, I'll go find out. Yeah. I'm a hammer. Ark, a merry greeting to thee, fair Festival Goer. What revelry does thou partake? In this wondrous Valentine's Night, I already know how to break them up. What's up, Romeo? How you been doing? Good morrow, con festival goer. My heart is heavy with sorrow and longing for Juliet's sweet company. Farewell. What? I guess you don't know how to break them up, eh? Wow! 
Ha <laughs> Chihuahua, hello festival goer. Are you lost in the sea of love and passion? Very much so. I am. Ah, ah correct. Long haired men and mystery kisses. How scandalous. Did you get a mysterious look at this Casanova? Yeah. Uh, he was tan. He kind of had a Spanish accent. And it was like the woman that was he was with was like, Stop it, Alejandro. <laughs> <laughs> Alejandro que diablo está haciendo mi Alejandro en este festival excuse me festival girl I need to handle this situation immediately are you sure because they're still not done I mean they're over there right now like you should wait for them to be finished at least I suppose you're right festival girl I was... no 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 I meant He's cheating on you right now. Like, you should go over there and break that up to Alejandro. Oh, Alejandro, you smooth talker. You thought you could charm me and another woman at the same festival? I caramba. <laughs> Adios, mi amor. Besos y decepción. No. Can't believe this betrayal. I must find Rosalinda right now and demand an explanation. What, I, what should I say to her when I confront her? Ask her for a threesome. Maybe she might be down with it, bro. You never know. Hello. How dare you, Alejandro? So think I caught you in the act cheating on the fe on me at the festival with that bimbo. Uh. Oh, me or more? It's not what you think. Let's talk this through. Maybe we can work it out or have a threesome. <laughs> oh, well, a threesome? You have the audacity to suggest such a thing after betraying me? No way, Alejandro. It's over between. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I broke him up. Karen is in a happy relationship with Prince Charming. Do you believe in love at first sight? Did she also make sure the females were perfect for him? No, we gotta. I don't know, cause with with these with certain characters, it's like some of them care, but some of them don't care. Well, we need to know if she cares. So, she don't. So that's what I'm trying to figure out yeah. the angle on how to ask her. You believe in love at first sight? Uh, I do. You know, I'm a romantic myself. But um, what about you? The best you got. What about you? I'm yeah. trying to figure out. Oh, you gotta oh, investigate. Oh, 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 oh. That's the best he got. You gotta investigate. Oh, absolutely. Love is a magical thing. Yeah, he said he's gone broke, taking care of this woman called Karen. He said she's a snob and that she's never satisfied with anything he gives her. <laughs> How dare you speak ill of me? I do everything to maintain um, standards for my Prince Charming and myself. If you don't have anything nice to say, maybe it's best to keep it to yourself. I didn't say it. That's what he said. And he said that he's dumping you as soon as he gets this loan. This loan? Wow. He's broke. That ungrateful Prince Charming. I cannot believe. He would speak of me in yeah, such a manner. He spoke because of her, so I he's was, dumping her as soon as she gets the loan. Yeah. So he's gonna get the money, I and mean, then he's gonna. I'd have just been like, he's. I got the letter. Yeah. Okay. I don't care. I would have been like straight <laughs> up. He's dumping you right after this, so you don't gotta spend no more. All right, we go. All right, so all right, you could you could do one after. Nah, this. I'm good. I like <laughs> listening and commenting. Maybe listen though. I've more. decided to Prince Charming. I've decided to end our relationship because, quite frankly, I'd rather be single then with be with someone who can't even manage their own finances Dang. and plans to leave me as soon as they get along good written sincerely karen what karen broke up with me because of my finances i must go confront her at once what shall i even say in response to such audacity tell her you don't need her broke gold digger ass anyway and that if she really cared she would get a job to help you out bro Oh, You're absolutely you right. Karen needs to learn her place and start contributing instead of leeching off me. Uh, I like I'll let her know anger on who's her. in charge now. I like the little anger on you. And yet, another couple broken. It's like I'm the opposite of Cupid, man. Well, well, well. What a surprise to see you here at my, uh, my Valentine's party. Welcome to the underworld, mortal. La, la, la. Persephone dare speak ill of me. In my realm, she forgets her place as my queen. I shall have words with her after this wretched party. 
Yeah, she was saying that you're so cheap. It's so hot. Like, you won't even turn on the AC. And it's like the heat is on, like, all day, bro. Enough. Persephone's complaints have reached my age for the last time. It is time to write a breakup letter and end this to tumultuous eternity once and for all. 80s broke up with me through a letter. Unbelievable. I must confront him right away. Oh, shit. Broke him up. Yeah, man. Roaring 20s. But, uh, how you been doing? Dear Festival Goer, it, it seems you speaking in riddles. Enjoy the festivities, but I must tend to other matters, huh? <laughs> All right. <laughs> Julia, Art Festival Goer, greetings to thee. Pray, does thou come from a land of merriment and joy? Pray, did Romeo see unscathed by this view? Nah, nah, he, he did seem rather escaped. Um, he said he, when he catch her bum-ass cousin Tibble, he gonna kill him. <laughs> cousin Tibble? Tibble. Uh -huh. Wasn't that Julia's cousin? Oh, fucking up. Oh, treacherous words. The very air. Now, Esther's. Oh, oh she, she thought I said Tibble. I That's... said Tibble. It said Tibble. Oh, well, snap know. my knee and call me Betsy. You look like a rainbow exploded all over you. It sounds familiar. Wait a minute, you don't mean my Ma, do you? Ma with the glasses and the gray hair? Mm -hmm. Hold on, just a cotton pick a minute. Ma with the glasses and the gray hair is my Ma. What's she up to? Tell me now before I lose my ever loving mind. To Grandma Ma, I heard. From a festival goer that you were flirting with that young deacon from Rolling Stone Baptist Church. I can't be with someone who's chasing after young blood like a thirsty vampire. <laughs> Yours truly, Charles A. A. Boomer. Oh, man. Damn, if she was giving you apple pies and late night foot rubs and you fucked that up for a rumor? Boomer? That's trash. You fucked it up for <laughs> <laughs> Hey, I ain't telling believe me. Hey, they're ready to dance the night away, or are you just here to look pretty? I'm uh, just here to look pretty. <laughs> I'm talking to the big hind, that traitor. <laughs> he did to turn his back on everything we fought for time to settle this once and for all. I gotta get that breakup letter to Han Tao. I heard about your plans to switch sides to the Huns. Leave me and not tell anyone else about it. Well, I may be a Tom girl, but I'm not stupid. Consider this a farewell from one warrior to another. Stay strong, Mulan. Wow, where's where's Han, man? We got you out here switching sides, the Huns, bro. Loyalty and love. She accusing you of joining the ops, bro. You better you better tell her straight. Now y'all broke into. Mm. Tell her he he not dressing properly. It's oh, a, it's a Bobby. He's gonna be a friend. Yeah, she is. Yeah, uh, I saw Kendall, and it's wild because he's actually looking pretty bad. Like tore up from the floor up. <laughs> tore up from the floor. Up? You never heard that? Wow. No, that's crazy. He's wearing stripes. That's a major fashion disappointment. Let me tell you, and. Those jeans are so last year. This man over here. <laughs> you should have said last season. Oh wow, stripes are last year's jeans. <laughs> oh no, shoes. <laughs> That's where she drew the line. That's definitely why I, I can't. Think, I don't know. That's your goal. Go Check on him. Thanks for you. Might not get that letter. No. Fuck. I told you. <laughs> I told you. I said that you need. To All right. The next we're going to Edwin. Cause you know something more about Twilight than I do. Is Edward? Uh, He's supposed to be Edward Cullen and Blonde. I don't know about Twilight. You know more than I do. And they spoke her? That's not more. Go, do one. No, oh, you can speak. I'll tell you what to say. I don't feel like. Alright, go ahead. Tell me what it said. Uh, greetings. You know, yeah. Greetings. <laughs> oh, that's I'm what you said. I thought it. you were saying that. <laughs> greetings. Yes, it is a lively occasion. 
Yeah, you know, it is pretty lively, I guess. I mean, <laughs> I didn't tell you said I guess, did I? I put my own spin on it. A mere facade, like a flickering candle extinguishing in the night. I am dying from this boredom of like fucking twilight. The petals of rose. Oh, this this just lasts. Romeo, you still not broken? I gotta break y'all up, man. I gotta break y'all up. I gotta get out these clothes. Oh, he's <laughs> naked. No, I've just been doing security. Security can be exciting, I suppose. Well, I must put a way to have more delightful conversations. Oh, okay. I'm gonna get Beast, though. I know how to get him now. Oh, he over here hitting the Dougie. Talk to Beast. Wow. Great to see you, festival security guard. Keep the party safe. It would be unbearable to be alone. Yeah. I, I've been seeing a lot of couples break up tonight, man. Woo! It's been... Love is not in the air, let me tell you. <laughs> Stop looking at me like that. Wow. To Belle, I fear our relationship is like a never-ending fairy tale with you they constantly need of rescuing. With you constantly in need of rescuing from your own curiosity. I must depart our tale, for I fear my grumpiness will only serve to push you away further. Damn, bro. Damn, bro. Oh, Juliet, I'm, I'm, I'm getting at you down. Yeah, I got you. Ask the guy. I was like, why did they hit you? And he said, well, I was cheating on their sister with someone else. Oh, whoa, be tied. Betrayal and treachery among lovers is a grievous sin. Pray tell me, dost think thou shall find solace in their anger or seek peace and forgiveness? Thou art as <laughs> unfaithful as a swine in a trough. For I caught thee kissing another maiden at the festival. Farewell, Romeo. May thy heart be fickle as thy wings. Goodbye, Juliet. Oh, well, ho. By my own, I should not take this slander. Oh, he not he, he's had enough. Farewell. I told y'all with the security outfit, I'm breaking couples up. <laughs> Keep in mind, you just happy about this. <laughs> I would never do this in real life. He lying. I've never done this in real life. Oh no, she was just drawn to the dark, I guess, because it was some guy there. Uh, I don't know his name. I think it was something. Well, she turned into vampire and then it wasn't that she was sucking blood. She was sucking something else, if you know what I'm saying. Fuck, I did not get the letter. I thought that's like it's up that else one I was gonna definitely get, it, bro. Yeah, and there was something else about, you know, he always stays home to take care of his punk ass kids. <laughs> <Don't have it. laughs> children funny. I can't be with someone who disrespects the father of my children. And plans to do whatever she wants to do. So my son, uh, Homer, is uh, he's fluid. <laughs> oh, 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 what was here, lawyer at a Valentine's party? You know, I would get a prenup. You know, better be on the safe side. Divorces happen a lot nowadays. Tell her we want prenup. We want prenup. <laughs> Also, you got that prenup. Darling, upon consulting with my legal counsel about a prenup. Damn, bro. We broke up, y'all. Yeah, Barty next. Hello. Hey there, legal eagle. Barty at your service. Trying to. Damn. Hey, the Lord, dude. Yeah, I mean, if you felt overshadowed, you might as well just leave because, like, you could probably find better if they don't want to let you take control sometimes. Write that breakup letter, bro. Well, 
That's the way the cookie crumbles. Yeah, that out the way. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. How dare he, the audacity of Mr. Darcy to juggle two women at once. I must confront him immediately about this betrayal. Thank you for bringing it to my attention. Are you going to give me the letter? Damn it. Let me get, uh, let me get Blonda, man. Hey, hey there, what's the verdict on the Valentine fever? Oh, my. Okay, then I guess nothing new to report. No, no, I gotta talk to you. <laughs> I gotta talk to you. Oh, uh, good evening, sir. Pray, enlighten me. What intriguing legal matters bring you to this soiree? In business at a Valentine's party, I find your explanation lacking credibility, sir. Good day. What? Excuse me. All right, bro. I gotta. Oh no! I do you know where he is, so I could give it to him. It's kind of you know on the secretive side. It's from the side chick. I'm not sure. Maybe you should just leave the package with me. And I'll make sure he gets it later. Fuck. <laughs> Yeah, I've got a package from him from his uh wife. Her name is Marcy. Marcy Darcy? Mm. Marcy Darcy, you say how peculiar. Or fetch. No, it's not. You're in denial. You're in denial. <laughs> I think you're in denial about winning this game in 20 minutes. Oh no, it's um it's for a woman, you know. I think her name is Elizabeth. How you know it was? I said Elizabeth. All right, I gotta get out this shit. Yeah, thank you for for noticing. Um, how you been doing, Mr. Darcy? <clears throat> Darcy, you say that name has no voice. Very well, festival. I got the letter with fifteen minutes to spare, so we have time. Uh, clandestine activities with a lowly suitor named Beth. No! She's Beth. They've been getting it wrong, bro. Escaping in this, this shameful display, your disgraceful behavior. Hello, oh, Mr. Mr. Darcy, you called me. I was just off for a bit of fun, darling. It's hot. It's called Hard Girl Summer, and I'm ready to sleep. I'm on for. So I just saw Bella hooking up with another vampire. Just wanted to let you know. It's not her name. Whatever. I'm on for I think it went. Well, I was going to deliver a package and as I went around the corner, I saw Blonda kissing some sparkly dude. Sparkly dude. <laughs> 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 what the You gotta you gotta describe him. <laughs> Put the song on it. Tell him, oh, tell him what you was, how he was laying that Mac down. Was he any scent of treachery? Yes, there was a lot of scent of tre treachery. She was very wet, from what I could tell. Oh shit! <laughs> the wet is crazy. <laughs> yeah, you gotta, you gotta get him in. Yeah, they said. I heard uh, Rhonda say that at the end of this festival, she's gonna kill Edwin. Well, that was easy. Yeah. Hey, I told you. You had trouble with this. Shit. No, I said I told you you could you could do it and then get it. Cause you know more about me. Kissing a sparkly vampire <laughs> who allegedly wants to end me. Damn, we got the. Tell him maybe if he was a little bit more sparkly, then he would catch your eye. And also tell him that you caught him sucking something else that wasn't blood. <laughs> 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 and you really was like <laughs> sparkly vampire playing an enemy at that festival. It's too much. Uh, and they are a bit more sparkly. Oh, and by the way, caught you sucking on something other than blood last night. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> you dare bring up my smoothie and oh That's what you call it? This is about you and your treasonous behavior, Wanda. Love love love. Being with you is just so dull. I can't be so You should have just said bland. Trying to pack up the rooting and find some sparkle. Yeah, or should she leave you for Jacob, my boy? 
I won't change for you, Wanda. I am who I am, dark and enigmatic. Just can't don't. Handle it. And maybe um, you should go probably with your spark the game. Hey, Very well, Edwin. Maybe in another lifetime, you want to just spice things up a bit. First for now, go to shimmer in the moonlight. Someone who can keep up. Well, we beat the game now. Yeah, I had to come in in the end to save this. Unless we would have been. Bro, I could put the sauce on it.